begin the ceremony, I'd like to call our student uh, body president, Julian Vieira, up to the podium to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Julian Vieira. Could everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Julia. Good evening. Welcome parents, students, Board of Education members, staff members, and scholarship presenters to New Egypt High School's annual Ac Academic Awards Ceremony. Before we begin tonight's program, I'd like to take a minute to thank a few people who are responsible for the evening tonight. I would like to thank Mrs. Katina George and Ms. Kim DeGangi for their hard work and diligence in organizing this night for our students. I would also like to thank Ms. Karen Weber and the high school PTO for working with Mrs. George and Ms. DeGangi to make this evening very special for our students. So if we could just give them a round of applause. <laughs> One more quick thank you. On behalf of the New Egypt High School community, I would like to sincerely thank all our scholarship donors for recognizing the academic efforts of our students. We are very grateful for your contribution to our students' future. If we can give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> Tonight's one of my favorite nights uh, because it's where we honor our students' academic successes. Um, most people will never know if a student aces a final exam or gets a five on the AP exam. There's no article on the paper for a student who gets straight A's or somebody that receives a hundred on a presentation. So tonight is the night where we can sit back and we can recognize all of these amazing efforts that our students um, accomplished here tonight. Success is something that doesn't happen by accident. There's no secret to being successful. It comes with hard work, determination, and sacrifice. Each one of these students here tonight have displayed these characteristics throughout their high school careers. I would like to talk briefly about these three characteristics. When I looked up the definition of hard work, it said a great deal of effort or endurance. Students understand that the road to success will get difficult, but if you continue to endure and put in a great deal of effort, you will achieve your goals. When I looked up what determination meant, it said a firmness of purpose. Those who have succeeded in life will tell you that it takes determination to achieve. Find your purpose and be firm in your purpose. Do not deviate from that purpose no matter what takes place in your life. There will be ups and downs in life, but make sure you stay determined to achieve your goals. Sacrifice, probably one of the toughest. It's an act of giving up something valued for the sake of something else regarded as more important or worthy. There may be things along the road of success that you might have to give up in order to accomplish your goals and not deviate from your purpose. But just remember that those sacrifices you make now are a small price to pay, to pay for living the life you have always dreamed in the future. Students, take these three characteristics, hard work, determination, and sacrifice with you throughout your life. They will be the cornerstone of all your successes. I congratulate all of you on your current successes and wish you many more in the future. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce our supervisor of guidance, Ms. Katina George. To begin tonight's ceremony, I would like to introduce Mr. Ron Nevers, who will be presenting the Great Value uh, Scholarship for Great Students.
Hello everyone. The New Egypt Marketplace for Great Value is awarding a $1,000 scholarship to a very, very impressive young man. His resume is absolutely inspiring, motivating, and all-encompassing. This young man gives it his all and he gives to others. Academically, 97.4 grade point average. Honors courses focused on math and science. 2017 Coca-Cola Scholar Foundation National Semifinalist. He was chosen out of 86,000 students based on leadership, civic duty, community service, and academics. American Legion Boys State Delegate. National Honor Society. As a Heroes and Cool Kids member, helped mentor middle school students on life skills, drug prevention, and anti-bullying, and more. Some of his extracurricular activities, way too many to list, include Spanish club, basketball, baseball, track and field, student government, Heroes and Cool Kids, national program, Student Community Advisory Board, Environmental Club, do you believe this? Rosary, Rotary Club, Fishing and Archery Club, and remarkably, much more. Community and Volunteer Service, Plumstead Youth for Nature and Environment, Play It Forward Program, Show Your Soul, Shoe Collection Rescue Mission, Relay for Life, Ronald McDonald House, Cooking and Serving, Special Olympics Team Volunteer, Camden Inner City Youth Games, LEAF, our mark, raking leaves for the elderly, coaching basketball summer camp for elementary school kids, helping hands food pantry, can you believe this? And much more. Work, he also found time to hold down some paying jobs, 20 plus hours per week on average. Watching, waiting on busing tables, serving food, farm work, currently working at the Lorita Winery since 2012. Wow. It's been said that it takes a whole village to raise a child. You, the parents, family members, teachers, and other mentors of his should be very proud and congratulated also along with this year's scholarship recipient, Ryan Divine. Our next presenter is Ms. Sandra Souls presenting a few awards on behalf of the Plumstead Township Board of Education. Good evening. Senior Academic Awards have been a long-standing New Egypt High School tradition that continues this evening with you, the Class of 2017. Tonight, the recipients of these special awards join the best of the best of previous graduating classes. It's an honor to present four special awards to four of our outstanding seniors on behalf of the Board of Education. Congratulations to all of you and your families, who I am sure are gleaming with pride, as we are. The first award is for academic achievement. This award is being presented to Julian Vieira. The second award is for most improved, and this award is being presented to Rebecca Schroeder. for our Unsung Hero Award. This award is being presented to Anthony Rinaldi. <laughs> and
And the Plumstead Township Board of Education final award tonight is for our Student of Friend of Education Award. And this award is presented to Christina Rinaldi. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the evening. Our next award is the New Jersey Retired Education Association Isabel Hickman Scholarship Award, presented by Walter Preston and Rochelle Biddings Preston. Good evening, everyone. I would like to uh, say greetings to the superintendent of schools, Board of Education, principal of the school who I met earlier, and all of the wonderful staff, and all of you parents who were the first teachers of these wonderful students, and of course, the students themselves. Uh, I just have to say one thing before I make the presentation. I want to say to all the students, let no one ever tell you anything different. Graduating from high school is a big deal. It's a big deal to not only you, but your community and your family and all of us that are educators. I have the honor to uh, present the Isabel Hickman Award, a four-year scholarship for $1,000 a year to the student that, and the student that maintains a 3.0 GPA every year that he or she is in college. And that will be given to them every year. It is my great honor and pleasure to present the award to this year from the New Jersey Retired Educators Association, of which I am a member and an executive board member for the Ocean County Retired Educators also, to Ryan Devine. Scholarship presented by Tim Von Schmidt and Hank Pierre. Uh, good evening. We're here representing the Pemberton Pyramid Masonic Lodge. Uh, seniors, it's almost over. Uh, we have something here for a young lady who seems to be well on her way, uh, Grace Matthews. Plumstead Township Republican Club Scholarship, presented by Mayor Jack Trotta and Larry Jones. Good evening, everybody. I am pleased to be here tonight as both your mayor and president of the Plumstead Township Republican Club. I apologize, something came up and Larry uh, Jones could not be here tonight. The Plumstead Township Republican Club meets monthly on the third Thursday of the month, except for July, August, and December at 7.30 p.m. in the SOS room in the basement of the municipal building. The purpose of the club is to promote and support Republican candidates on local, county, state, and federal levels, and to enhance the general knowledge of government, advance Republicanism, and endeavor to provide a better quality of life for all in Plumstead Township. Membership is open to registered Republicans and to undecided undeclared registered voters who declare themselves Republicans. We have a junior membership that includes teens and students enrolled in higher education. We encourage the students here tonight to become some of our first junior members. The membership of the club understands the importance of higher education and the expenses that goes along with it. The membership has approved the awarding of two $100 scholarships tonight, one to a female student and one to a male student. 
And the students are Alyssa Zarello. and Zachary Peslak. I'm also here tonight to uh, present the Ocean County Mayor's Association Scholarship. One of the main functions of the Ocean County Mayor's Association, or OCMA, is the scholarships that they provide to high school seniors. The scholarship program was developed by the late Mayor William T. Hornage of Beechwood, the late Mayor David M. Sidens of Island Heights, and Mayor Emeritus Russell Corby of Pine Beach. The majority of the funding for the scholarship program comes from a golf outing that is held the last Thursday in August each year. With this fundraising effort, the OCMA has developed the premier scholarship program in Ocean County and throughout the years has provided over $570,000 in scholarships. In addition to the golf outing, corporate sponsors and advertisers in the Golf Dog Digest have made this scholarship program an unqualified success. The scholarships are broken down as follows. Each year, the general scholarship provides for a $1,000 scholarship to a senior from each, county, each of the county's 20 high schools. Four $500 scholarships to VOTEC students going on to future VOTEC training. And the William T. Hornage Memorial Scholarship, David Ed Sidens Memorial Scholarship of $1,000 to the best three students in Ocean County. The Ocean County Mayor's Association also provides an annual award of $5,000 to Ocean County College for their scholarship fund. These scholarships are awarded to entering freshmen based on the college's criteria for need. As Plumstead Township Mayor, I am pleased to present this year's New Egypt High School recipient, Julian Vieira. ERA Central Edge Scholarship Award presented by Heather Tyndall. Good evening guys, I'm Heather Tyndall and I'm with ERA Central Realty Group in Robbinsville. As a team at ERA Central Realty, we are proud and pleased to be able to give back to the communities that we serve through our Edge Scholarship Program. We are more than just people that sell houses though. We work, live, and raise our families in the communities that we serve, and we're really, really proud to be a part of the New Egypt and Plumstead community. It's with that in mind that the Edge Scholarship was started. Since 2005, we've awarded over $50,000 in scholarships to Central New Jersey high school seniors who have demonstrated qualities we celebrate with our Edge Scholarship. Ethical, dedicated, genuine, and entrepreneurial. I personally, in my real estate business, pride myself on forward thinking, especially in the way of technology. And so it was really exciting for this applicant to come in um, because he has a very forward thinking mindset um, and a very entrepreneurial spirit when he founded, potentially with others, I'm not quite sure, one of the clubs here at the school, embedding himself in the community and really making his high school community part of something bigger. So, today, it is my personal honor to deliver an award of $1,000 to Ryan Devon. And Ryan, because you're part of the social media club, it seems only fitting, and hopefully we'll lighten it up a little, that we take a selfie before you come. High School Band Parent Scholarship, presented by Mrs. Dreyer and Mrs. Ruder. Good evening. It is truly a pleasure to be able to stand before you to present these awards on behalf of the New Egypt Band Parents Association. 
Um, the, the following three students have shown amazing dedication to the band over their high school careers, and um, we would like to give them these awards. Our first student has been a member of the band for five years and has been a section leader. We'd like to welcome up Dylan Manguera. recognize has been a member of our band for four years and has led us as the drum major for two of those years and that is Daniel Recksteiner. goes to a member of our band for the past four years who has also been a section leader and that is Justin Ruder. Memorial Pop Warner Scholarship, presented by Jennifer Kassoff, Bob Kudrick, and Lucas Thompson. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm a little nervous, and I didn't know I was doing this tonight until I got here, so um, bear with me. i got to read my speech off my phone. Um, I, I am the president of New Egypt Pop Warner, and um, as most of you know, uh, Zach Thompson was a student that graduated from New Egypt High School. And uh, earlier this year, uh, Zach had passed away. And we thought, uh, since Zach was in, he was, he's been a member of New Egypt Pop Warner for quite some time. And his father, Todd Thompson, was on the board with me for a lot of years. <laughs> um, so we wanted to honor um, a past player that was uh, in Pop Warner for at least one year. Um, so we came up with this scholarship. This is our first year doing it. Um, it's a $500 scholarship. Uh, this year's recipient spent 10 years in our program, but also has been a student demonstrator for the past three years. And to present the award to the winner is uh, Zach's younger brother, Lucas. Uh, the award is going to Brianna Bashada. High School Booster Club Scholarship presented by Ms. Krizlikowski. Good evening. I think I'm still doing this award because I'm still doing the lacrosse concession stand. So I have to do something since I don't have kids in the school anymore. This year we are giving out $250 each to the students that participate in the sports and with band. New Egypt uh, High School Booster Club Scholarship, the first one goes to Christina Rinaldi. The second one goes to Maggie Witham. The third one goes to Tim Blobbery. And the last one, James Sunday. Suzanne Hasker Memorial Scholarship presented by Lisa Lowe and Suzanne's sisters, Andrea and Terry. 
Good evening, class of 2017. My name is Terry McFadden, and with me tonight is my sister Andrea Carmen. My mom's in the back, Virginia. Sue is our sister and daughter. Some of you may remember our nephews, Tommy and Jake. They're both doing very well and wanted us to say hello to their family back here in New Egypt. Thank you, Mrs. Love, would you go? <laughs> for inviting us here tonight. And thank you to the Warrior Booster Club for establishing this award, the Suzanne Haskor Memorial Scholarship, which honors the memory and the life of our wonderful sister, Sue. Andrea and I had the pleasure of reading the applications of the two students selected to receive this award. Very impressive. You guys have been very busy over the past four years managing your schedules that are filled with AP classes, volunteerism, athletics, multiple extracurricular activities. We recognize your many talents, your leadership ability, your love of family, dedication to your community, and your desire to help others. These characteristics were the embodiment of Sue. It seems that the harder she worked, the more she had to offer to others. Her professional and community networks grew. The busier she was, the more she accomplished. Sue always felt blessed and never complained. She really was a lot of fun. We are honored to present these scholarships to you. They are very well deserved. Please continue to work hard, stay involved in a variety of activities, and remember to call home at least once a week. Best of luck at Dickinson College and Seton Hall University to our recipients, Ryan Devine and Rachel Mayer. is the Bordentown Rotary Club Award presented by Bill Grosso. Good evening. This is the Bordentown Rotary's fifth year sponsoring the Internet Club at the high school. And every year with the help of, since we've been here, with the help of the New Egypt supermarket, we have a fundraiser every year called the Canathon. Hopefully some of you parents out there, so when you go in on a certain Saturday in April, we give everybody a piece of paper and say, if you would help us and get one non-perishable can of pork and beans, macaroni and cheese, tuna fish, we're gonna give all these donations to the Helping Hands Food Pantry. The Helping Hands people service 300 families every month. And they kind of run low. This year, the Interact Kids, with the help of uh, the, the uh, New Egypt supermarket, we collected three and a half months worth of food for the New Egypt Food Pantry. Congratulations to those kids. I have two $1,000 scholarships we'd like to give out tonight to two sensational young ladies, um, Brianna Basada and Erin Colorado. And hopefully I said that name right. Survivorship Award. Unfortunately, Rob Chamberlain, who's an alumni of ours, couldn't make it tonight, um, but he wanted me to read this. Success is not measured by what is achieved in the classroom, but by what, is, what obstacles were overcome along the journey. The following recipients have demonstrated su success against their odds with the support of family, friends, and teachers. There are three awards. Um, the first award 
The first two awards are in the amount of $250 to Dana Calarocco and Julian Vieira. And the last award goes to Kara Clummer in the amount of $1,000. The next award is the Brian T. McCarthy Memorial Scholarship, and our presenter is Mr. Brendan McCarthy. Good evening. Uh, thank you to the Board of Ed and to the administration for putting this night together, and to the parents for their unwavering support. I'm here to present the Brian T. Memorial Scholarship in honor of my dad who passed away in late September. Uh, it was a very difficult time for me because my dad was my best friend. It was made easier uh, for me and my family because of the tremendous support that we had from the Warrior family. All the coaches and a few of the players have reached out to me to let me know they were thinking about me and my family. Uh, but it was the gesture of having the entire football team attend the wake in those beautiful blue home jerseys that will always be with me. Everyone that came up to me for the rest of the day complimented about how well dressed and how well behaved the boys were. Members of my family still are marked today about how special that group was and uh, what it must have meant for us to see them sacrifice their time. We decided that because they made such an impact on us that we would like to give $1,000 uh, in his honor to those that honored him. The task was simple. Write a letter to someone who has gone above and beyond for you and thank them. They gave the applicants a chance to express gratitude to someone that has made a sacrifice for them. I use things my dad has taught me all the time. When I was a little leaguer, my dad used to write think inside of my glove, T-H-I-N-K on every single finger. I've written that on the top of every game day scouting report I've ever used, because it brings me back to sitting with my dad and him explaining to me how important it is to think in both sports and in life. Kids ask me all the time, why do you have think written at the top of your paper? And I usually tell them that it doesn't come naturally, so I need a reminder. Luckily, for the winner of the scholarship, it does come naturally. The winner of the scholarship is a great kid in the classroom and on the field. He's one of the most genuine people I've ever been around. He cares about every player on the roster and every student in the school. He's a leader in every sense of the word. It was a pleasure to coach him. It'll be a pleasure to watch him thrive in whatever he does. The winner of the Brian T. McCarthy Scholarship, Julian Vieira. Our next award is the Superintendent's Award presented by Mr. North. Good evening. Uh, first, on behalf of the school district, I would like to thank all the people who are, have donated to our students, who are making presentations, the groups, the organizations. Uh, it's truly a credit to what this town is all about. The, uh, the Superintendent's Award uh, they came to me and asked me if I'd like to continue, and I said, absolutely. And then um, they said, do you have any strong opinions about what it is that you're looking for? And I said, well, leadership, somebody who uh, goes out of their way to um, show by example, but not necessarily who's out in front, kind of the quiet people. And uh, the two people that uh, were named uh, for this, I couldn't find a better choices. So the recipients are, Gabby Medina and Tim Blanco. attending a breakfast uh, from the Ocean County Superintendents Association 
uh, for recognizing two students for their academic uh, uh, performances over the last four years, Rachel Mayer and Colin Malazzo. And lastly, I'm pinch hitting right now for the PBA. Uh, they, had, they had a problem, there was somebody got hung up, but I was gladly, glad to do it and recognize everything, all their efforts in our town. They have presented two $250 scholarships to Kelsey Horner and Jordan Bendick. is the New Egypt Primary School and Dr. Gerald H. Ware Elementary School PTO Scholarships presented by Ms. Jody Kowalowski. And this award was chosen by the foundation through an application process. And the recipients this year are Ryan Fine, Brady Mannion, and Julian Vieira. The next award is the New Egypt High School PTO Scholarships presented by Mrs. Weber and Mrs. Hughes. Good evening. Congratulations to the class of 2017. I would first like to thank the PTO members, students, teachers, and parents who worked very hard to raise funds to be able to even give scholarships back to our students, to our seniors, and make improvements to our school. This year, although the anonymous applications were excellent. The scholarship committee chose these four deserving students. We had them answer two questions, what it means to be, what it takes to be a heart of a warrior, and what was your biggest accomplishment at New Egypt High School. And to read the application, like being brought tears to my eyes, because we have so much spirit in our school, and it's so great to see that the kids have a reflection of that. So it was, it was very heartwarming to hear these applications and read them. So the four deserving students will receive $250 each, and those students are Dana Colorado, Ryan Devine, Gabriella Medina, and Christina Rinaldi. Thank you. New Egypt Marketplace Most Improved Art Artist Award, presented by Mrs. Sandy Kolonkowski. Tonight, the New Egypt Marketplace Most Improved Artist Award is being given to a student who I have had the pleasure of teaching for the past three years. During this time, I have witnessed her truly challenge herself to reach high levels of artistic and personal achievement. The recipient of the New Egypt Marketplace Most Improved Artist Award is Maggie Witham. Marketplace School to Work Scholarship presented by Mrs. Lynn Kozbukowski. Hi 
I know Mr. Nevers left, but I would just like to thank him personally for his support for our program. He has hired a student since the first year in the School to Work program, which is 15 years now straight. I was trying to get another position tonight, so I'm hoping that works. But this year's award goes to a student who actually works at New Egypt Marketplace, and he works hard, he goes every day. He's just a dedicated worker, and he's always there with a smile. And this year's award goes to Timmy Siler for $500. Next is the Continuous Improvement Award, and it goes to two recipients for $250, and that would be Julia Kudrick and Nick Oster. Recreation Basketball Scholarship, presented by Mr. Jim Kimmick. Hi, how are you doing? I am Jim Kimmick, President of New Egypt Basketball, and this year we decided to offer scholarships to a senior who is continuing his education, um, a girls and a boys scholarship, and we asked the students to present an essay um, how rec basketball impacted their lives. Um, the two winners of the scholarships are Caitlin Hughes, Our next award is the Kristen Narcini Memorial Artistic Achievement Award, presented by Mrs. Sandy Kolonkowski. The criteria for the Kristen Narcini Memorial Artistic Achievement Award is as follows. To be awarded to a student who displays content knowledge and mastery of skills in the area of drawing and has a firm grasp on nature-related elements. The student who will be receiving this award tonight definitely displays all of these qualities with a talent for drawing from nature that is expressed through her art pieces. The recipient of tonight's award is Noelle Banowski. the New Egypt High School Yearbook Scholarship presented by Mr. Mick Hughes. Hello everybody, uh, congratulations on the recipients and seniors. Uh, it's a real exciting time in your life, so um, anyway, enjoy it. Uh, this is my 14th year at New Egypt High School and for 12 of those years I've served as the school's yearbook advisor. Um, the quality of the yearbook so often is dependent on, the edit on its editor-in-chief. Uh, I first met this year's editor-in-chief when she was just a goofy freshman carrying a backpack festooned with a British flag sitting in my English 1 class. Uh, she was always eager to, eager to participate, always nice, and just generally a real pleasant kid. She was very smiley, as I recall. Um, fast forward to this year, when she assumed one of the biggest responsibilities that a senior in high school can undertake by signing on to be the editor of the yearbook. She took it very seriously, seamlessly involving other students by making them feel welcome and delegating assignments to them, communicating with the faculty and staff in a professional and mature manner, uh, and organiz organizing and laying out a yearbook that I think looks very sleek and original. Um, she was excellent at getting things done, but also, like when she was a freshman, she remained smiling. Uh, in fact, I've never, kid, I've never seen a kid use a smile to answer questions more often than this year's recipient. recipient. Um, I was going to call her up here to demonstrate, but we'll just want to see it. So, uh, example one, the don't be mad at me smile, I would say, uh, I was thinking about a picture of the sun rising above the school for her intro page, and then I pulled up a page, you already did the cover page without telling me. Her response, just a smile. Um, <clears throat> 
Example two, the all, I'm already on top of that, get off of my back smile. Uh, I would say, hey, the deadline's coming up, we need these remaining senior, senior superlative pictures taken. And then I pulled up the page and, oh, you did it already. Smile. Um, <clears throat> example three, okay, I'll modestly take this compliment. This looks great, I love how you laid out that particular page. Her response was smile. So, it's my pleasure to present this year's Yearbook Club Scholarship Award to a great kid who really cares so much for New Egypt High School and has made it a better place with her numerous contributions to the student body and her smile. Gracie Riveda. The next award is sponsored by the Give Back Foundation, the Ronald Dunster Memorial Scholarship Award, presented by Ms. Jackie Tyler. Good evening, everyone. I'm also the school nurse here, and I'm one of the directors for the Give Back Foundation. And one of the main things with the Give Back Foundation is to give back to the community. And we have picked two wonderful, wonderful students that deserve this award. And the first is Dana Calaraco. that I think tonight I don't have to really say much more than his name, Ryan Devine. And the next award that I have to give out is from the Friends of the Plumstead Library. It's a thousand dollar scholarship. And my mom is 82 years old, and part of the criteria is that you have the love of reading and you use the library. And this is a very special award, and it goes to Maggie Whitman. The next award is the New Egypt Elk Student of the Year Award, presented by Robert Minter. Good evening. On behalf of uh, the New Egypt Elk Lodge 2457, congratulations to the uh, graduating class 2017. Uh, first award is for Student of the Year, Alexis Irwin. <laughs> Our next Student of the Year is Andre Puglisi, uh, John Begley Award for Samantha Smith. <laughs> we have a Harry Crane Award for Nicholas Gimlisberger. Danielle Lechsteiner. Our next award is the Terry Lee Conk Award presented by Donna Conk. Good evening. Um, this award is in memory of my husband, Terry Lee Conk. Um, Terry's passion was children. Um, first, our own four which um, were all adopted and we had lots of interesting uh, adventures through the years. And um, Terry spent his time very passionate with the Elks. Um, and his motto was, it's all about the kids. Um, he didn't go for the meetings, he didn't go for the bar, he didn't go for anything there, but it was always about the kids and what their needs were. So this award is in his memory and it is presented tonight to Alyssa Wall. Our next award is the New Egypt Volunteer Fire Company Scholarship presented by Matt Sands. Anyway, we have two awards tonight. Samantha Katz. <laughs> and Jordan Bender.
Our next award is the Timberlane Kendall's Philanthropic Scholarship presented by Mr. Cody Birdsall. The Timberlane Kennels Scholarship is sponsored by the Timberlane Kennels and is given to one recipient. Uh, the recipient will receive $200. This year's recipient is Rachel Mayer. The Ladies Auxiliary of New Egypt Fire Company Scholarship is sponsored by the New Egypt Volunteer Fire Company and is given to two recipients. The recipient will receive $100. This year's recipients are Jordan Russell and Nicholas Jindelsberger. The Plumstead Township Business and Merchants Association Scholarship is sponsored by the Plumstead Township Business and Merchants Association and is given to one recipient. The recipient will receive $200. This year's recipient is Kyle Prouty. Our next award is the Big Woods Garden and Nursery Scholarship presented by Mrs. Alicia DeMarco. The Big Woods Garden and Nursery Scholarships are awarded to one male and one female student who plan to major in the field of science. The awards are in the amount of $150 each. This year's recipients are Allison Gatto and Timothy Longren. The next award is the Hilton and Dorothy Mount Scholarship presented by Mrs. Pam Conk. Good evening. Congratulations to the graduates, the recipients this evening, their guardian parents. It's a fine night. The Dorothy Mount, a former teacher and principal of New Egypt School and an author and Plumstead Township historian, bequested a sum of money to be distributed through, New, through the New Egypt United Methodist Church to a graduate of New Egypt High School. This year's winner is Angela Horner. The New Egypt Historical Society provides a scholarship to a person who loves history. And this year's recipient is Dana Colorado. <laughs> pleasure of working with Sue Lear, who is a paraprofessional in this district for over 20 years. And this year's recipients are Nicole Emily, Olivia Lear. Our next award is the Plumstead Township Education Association Graduation Awards presented by Mrs. Jen Kashuba. On behalf of the Plumstead Township Education Association, we want to congratulate everybody tonight and congratulate you, congratulate you for your graduation. The two awards tonight go to Rebecca Lombardo and Olive Raheem.
The next award is the 2017 New Jersey Coordinators Education Association Outstanding Student Award presented by Mrs. Lynn Kozlikowski. This award is given out by the New Jersey Coordinators Association. We submit names and we're very lucky that we've gotten one in the last three years. This year goes to a student that possesses a strong work ethic and is a responsible and capable student and employee. She's never called out sick and never missed a homework assignment. She's truly one of the most dependable, cooperative students I've ever taught and had in my school to work program. It is a recognition award and it goes to Gabby Arcadia. These two students were recognized for their athletic and academic achievements on the radio. This is the WOBM Gateway Toyota Student of the Week Award, and the two students who were recognized were Kyle Crowdy and Julian Vieira. The next award is the Dr. Gerald H. Ware Award. Dr. Ware asked us that we chose a student who's deserving for this award, someone who's well-rounded and full of life. And we couldn't pick a better student than Tanner Casio. The next award is the George Reiser Scholarship Award. And this student was recognized at a breakfast for his outstanding academic achievements. And he was awarded with a steak and shrimp breakfast. Julian Vieira. <laughs> Not just any steak, it was filet mignon. <laughs> The next award is the Ocean County Personnel and Guidance Association Award, the Caring Award, presented by Mrs. Alicia DeMarco. The Ocean County Personnel and Guidance Association recognizes one student who has given a person, group, or cause unselfishly and without expectation of a reward. This year's deserving recipient is Dana Colorado. The next award is the Charles B. Mathis Memorial Award, presented by Mr. Cody Birdsall. The Charles B. Mathis Memorial Award is uh, sponsored by Wells Fargo Trustee and is given to one recipient. This year's recipient is Colin Malazzo. The next award is the Ralph Dobert Memorial Scholarship Award, presented by Mr. and Mrs. Funk. My wife Ann and I are here tonight to award the Ralph Dobert Scholarship, Memorial Scholarship. Um, our friend and former colleague Rick DeFalco was unable to be here tonight. Rick DeFalco and I had the pleasure of meeting Ralph Dobert over 30 years ago. When he, was joined, when he joined the engineering staff at Phillips Healthcare, where we installed and repaired diagnostic and therapeutic x-ray systems. Ralph was a Boy Scout, served three years in the military, and after his discharge, played bass guitar and keyboards in a band in California for two years before returning home to Newtown, Pennsylvania. Ralph's interests included music, photography, holography, and especially computer science. He was very, very bright. 
He was a quiet guy, always flying under the radar, with an impeccable sense of humor, and his friendship came only after he had trust in you. When Rick and I learned the severity of his illness, we visited him frequently, only to find out he had no one to help him through this tough time. We lost our friend to cancer eight years ago. To show his gratitude to us, he wanted to start a scholarship fund, so three scholarships were set up. One in Newtown, where he resided, one in Lawrenceville, where Rick lives, and one here in Plumstead Township. This is the eighth year for the Ralph Goberts Memorial Scholarship Awards, and we're truly blessed to be able to do this in his name. We have five awards tonight in the amount of $2,000 each. For Naomi Daniels, Omar Yomas, Dan Rechsteiner, Jeff Larson, and Andrea Puglisi, I don't think of her. We also have three awards in the amount of $5,000 each. First one is for Carly Crum. Estefania Clara. And Jordan Latanz. Thank you. Our next series of awards are the New Egypt High School Academic Warrior Awards. And our first presenter is Miss Sandy Cole, it says Creepy, so we're gonna go with Creepy, um, for the Arts Department. <laughs> A warrior is someone who is willing to go above and beyond what is asked of them and reach the highest levels of excellence. The student who is the recipient of tonight's Warrior Award has always explored new artistic challenges wherever they can be found. He truly exemplifies what it means to have warrior pride in all that he does. Please congratulate this year's recipient, Tanner Casia. Our next Warrior Award will be presented by Mrs. Lynn Przbokowski on behalf of the Business Technology Department. We have it really hard in our department because we have business technology and mass media. So we get all the names together and it's, it's a very hard decision. But this year's recipient is a student who actually painted a mural in our school of what she thought being a warrior is truly. If you look at the mural in the athletic department, it says, energetic, original, brave, pride, inspiration, reliable, a team, strong, united, active, passionate, loyal, and in the biggest words, is humble. And that explains our recipient to a T. It's Amy Schwendt. is Ms. Jessica Zeza on behalf of the English department. Uh, this award is for a student who is always striving for success and strives to be the best well-rounded student possible. This person pushes themselves with each and every task they are asked to do. He has a deep understanding for literature and his writing is stellar with each piece submitted. He takes pride in everything he writes and he is an example to his fellow peers both academically and socially. 
I'm proud to present the Warrior Root for English to Colin Laza. Our next presenter on the behalf of the History Department is Mr. Tom Corby. Good evening to all parents and students here tonight. Every year it seems that there are a multitude of deserving students to choose from for the Warrior History Award, and this year was no exception. I've taught so many of the students looking back at me in various honors and AP classes. Yet the more our department examined each student, this one young lady kept jumping out at us as the one that best represents what this field is all about. Miss Dana Colorado embodies what it means to be an award-winning history, hold your applause, for political science student. I have more to talk about. I have been fortunate enough to teach Dana in the last three years in honors and multiple advanced placement classes. What I've witnessed is a young adult in every sense of its meaning. First is her love of the subject. Few kids come through here with such a genuine interest for history and current events, where as a teacher, you can hold a conversation with a student like Dana as if you were speaking to a well-educated adult. Next is that her work ethic is second to none in this senior class. Dana will find every avenue possible to work and prepare herself for projects, tests, and exams. No matter where Dana ends up following college, I know that this is what will separate her from her peers. Additionally, Dana can and will debate anyone in this room on any topic at any time of the day. Trust me on this one. She will get her opinion in, usually with flair, yet will listen attentively to your response. In our AP government and politics class this past presidential election year, it was entertaining to watch her head explode on almost a daily basis. Dana is not all historical and political views either. In fact, she and I also have debated on my unhealthy, unhealthy eating habits and the lack of patience I have with my dog. Yet I believe the best way for me to relate how special Dana is and will be in academics in life is that as a father of two daughters, if you could tell me that my girls would grow up to be the person and student Dana has become, I would sign that contract right now. I couldn't be more proud to say that Dana will be furthering her education as a poli-sci major at American University. Once again, your 2017 History Award winner, Ms. Dana Colorado. Our next Warrior Award will be presented by Mr. Mike Farina on behalf, behalf of the Mathematics Department. Hi everyone, my name is Mike Farina and I'm presenting the Warrior Award for Mathematics. It's Julian. <laughs> we, we knew, we, we all knew, there's no reason for suspense, right? Also, how amazing is it that I can just say it's Julian and everyone knows just by first name who I'm talking about. He's the Rihanna of New Egypt. It's, it's, it's impressive, it's remarkable. So, um, on a serious note, I don't want you to think that I'm taking this in a cavalier way when I say that we all knew Julian was going to be the winner. Um, it's actually quite the opposite. The fact that we so clearly knew he was going to be the winner is a testament to what a remarkable person he is. Um, I didn't go with a suspenseful opening tonight because I figured the sooner I tell you that Julian is the winner, the more time I have to say nice things about him. And I'm going to do that. The only thing is, uh, and this could be a little surprising, I actually don't want to highlight his academic achievements because, again, we know. So instead, just real quick, I want to share a quote with you. Um, it's a good one. It's by Calvin Coolidge. Nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. Really focus on that last part, graduating seniors. Persistence and determination, that's the key. And the reason I bring this quote up is because I think it really highlights a crucial part of Julian that sometimes gets overlooked. Is he capable? Yes, very capable. But when you combine that capability with persistence and determination, that is where the synergistic magic truly occurs. 
And that is exactly where you will find Julian Vieira. It's consistency, it's hard work, it's enthusiasm, and it's day after day after day. Those are the traits that are gonna take Julian to just unimaginable heights. And I think I speak for a lot of people here when I say I'm happy that I was just a small part of his journey to achieving those unimaginable heights, and he will reach them. Um, I just wanted to say one last thing, and I'll admit that this comes from a place of just unmitigated jealousy. It is in no way, it's not fair at all, that he can also dance. Um, <laughs> Julian, congratulations. Come on up. <laughs> Our next presenter is Mr. Doug Grotto on behalf of the music department. Good evening. The Warrior Award for Music is given to a student who exhibits the warrior spirit. The recipient is one who is a true leader among his or her peers in the classroom and at performances. This year's recipient has taken almost all the music courses offered here at New Egypt, including Rock Band, Rock Band 2, and AP Music Theory. He's also participated in every instrumental performing group at New Egypt. This student is an instrumentalist who plays piano and clarinet. He's also a composer and arranger, and it was my pleasure to have him shadowing a musical theater class this year. The 2017 Warrior Award for Music goes to Daniel Recksteiner. The warrior for the musical can come in all shapes, all sizes. The warrior could be the leading role in the show, modeling dedication, perseverance, and talent. An ensemble member who dedicated their off time to help the cast learn choreography, or the go-to person backstage who knows every prop, every scene change, and lighting cue. The warrior accepted their role in the show, but never let it define them as a leader, limit their effort given, or diminish their talent. I was going to improvise this address as it seemed fitting to speak of our warrior this way, but I'm not really that good as they are. The first word that comes to mind to describe our warrior, warrior is animated. With receiving little direction, our warrior would improvise a scene and take the character to another level through their voice, body language, and facial expressions. When I would cut the scene, our warrior would snap back to normal, await critique, and often ask to try something else. I would use their performance as expectation from the rest of the cast. Off stage and behind the scene, our warrior would be practicing choreography because they just didn't get it, but refused to give up. And even though they did not feel confident in their own dance ability, they would always help out other cast members who needed it. Their leadership was by example, by never being above the cast, but being a part of it. When called upon to complete a task from the directors, our warrior would always say, sure, and would march off to get it done. And where did the time go? On behalf of the adult directing staff, we thank you for your years of dedication to our program. Your integrity and work ethic will certainly be missed, and we wish you all the best. It is my pleasure to present this year's musical award, Warrior Award, to Rebecca Schroeder. Our next presenter is Mrs. Jen Kashuba on behalf of the Physical Education Department. This year's recipient for the Physical Education Warrior Award is Luis Mendoza. Luis is a pleasure to have in the gym, and after struggling through an injury during his junior year, he has come back with great effort. He is quick to help set up and break down the gym and is very helpful with younger students. Luis could be one of the most improved students in physical education school history. We would like to wish him the best in the future endeavors. Congratulations, Luis.
Our next presenter is Mr. Ng on behalf of the Science Department. The Science Department has selected this year's Academic Warrior Award recipient, someone who we agreed was one of the students we most enjoyed having in our classes. The student is respected by his teachers and well liked by his peers and for good reason. He's hardworking and ambitious, taking three AP courses as well as calculus honors this year, but we've never seen him be other than optimistic and enthusiastic. No matter how much pressure he's under, we've never heard him complain and he's always ready to extend a helping hand to other students in the class. I have the pleasure of having a student in two of my classes this year, AP Physics and Robotics. To me, the quality that stands out most in the student is the sense of wonder he shows when learning new things. That delight in discovery that we as science teachers fondly remember experiencing when we were students. And this student is able to infect others with his enthusiasm. One day, after the AP Physics exam, the student gave an impromptu lesson on dinosaurs to his classmates, who listened in rapt attention. I think many of you can guess who the student is. For embodying the qualities of diligence, optimism, and having a genuine thirst for knowledge, the Science Department is pleased to present the Academic War Award to Andre Puglisi. On behalf of the World Language Department, we have Christy Green presenting the award. Okay. The Romans were the greatest warriors of the ancient world. Difficulties and hardships were just another way to prove their superiority. Because of their perseverance and their refusal to quit or accept defeat, the Roman warriors conquered the world. This year's academic warrior in world language also never accepts anything less than the best. And to this person, a challenge is an exciting problem to overcome. This warrior might not use a sword and shield like the Romans did, but I know that this person will conquer the world. This year's world language winner is our beloved, cheerful, and good-natured god of light, Apollo Omid Rahim. That was our last award. Um, I would like to thank all of our sponsors who generously provided scholarships and awards this evening. Through, the through their generosity and continued support, we were able to present tonight's honor seniors, seniors with over $55,000. In total, our students have earned over $800,000 in scholarships, scholarships and grants over four years from their respective colleges and universities. I also want to thank Mrs. Weber and the high school PTO for the delicious desserts and beverages. Thank, thank you to Big Woods Nursery for the flower donations and the net pots for the centerpieces. Lastly, congratulations to our seniors. You have made your warrior family very proud of you and proud of your accomplishments. I have no doubt that each one of you will continue your success wherever the road takes you. We will miss your beautiful little faces next year. Make sure you guys come back and visit us. Congratulations, everyone.